that the glasses aren't working. So we're just gonna take them off and hopefully I'm looking at you guys because I can't see you all because I don't have my glasses on. But um, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. It's pretty early for me right now. So like, sorry if I sound lazy, but like <laughs> I'm looking really tired. But anyways, I just wanted to come back to you guys to tell you all a really big, I don't know if it's really big or not, really anymore but a really huge secret that i have been holding for like the past two months i've told a couple of people i'm actually really like horrible at like surprises and stuff like i am like the worst at surprises but um i'm changing my major so instead of me if you guys know me personally you guys know that i was in um deaf and hard of hearing education and my concentration was middle school math, but I'm changing it to business and um, marketing and sales. So I'm super pumped about that. Um, I always liked business, even when I was in high school, I would do like um, like sales all the time. I did retail sales. Um, I did um, kitchen utensil sales. Um, I've done a lot of promotions for different businesses um, and I didn't really realize that I was like such like a like a biz kind of person until uh, quarantine and you know a lot of things have been going on a lot with quarantining and the whole COVID thing and the world just shutting down but it also like I don't know, it also led to another opportunity instead of it being so negative, it, it was also really positive. So like, I'm kind of glad that we got like a break to really rethink and like think about our purposes in life because I was just kind of stuck and I loved education. I'm still very passionate about it, but at the same time, it doesn't fire me up. It does. I don't see me doing it for a long time. <laughs> so. I was super scared to tell my mom first off. I was like, she was the last person I told to be honest. <laughs> Cause she's always been known, like ever since in high school, you know, people always tell you, oh, you could be a really good this, you could be a really good that. And for me, it was, you could always be a really good teacher. And I've always loved um, the deaf culture, the deaf community. My best friend in seventh grade was deaf and she couldn't speak at all, but um, somehow we created a friendship and it was awesome and she ended up moving but um, it really like made me move forward with sign language and um, learning more about the deaf community and everything else so oh speaking of you guys like my shirt I got it um, on a Facebook ad I thought it was super cute it took like a month and a half to cover if you are in the middle of rethinking about what you want to do go for it. I just want to say, just go for it and just go with the present. Just, you know, you know, think logically, of course, like, you know, if this is good for you in the long run, but like, you know, if something's been on your mind and you really just want to like shift or, you know, change, do it because you're doing it for you. You don't have to do it for other people. And I think that's why I got really stuck. Um, I used to just overthink all the time about what people will think and, um, just like what my parents would think or my mom would think or just like, or business in general, like like people are gonna look at me different because like, you know, it's not education. So I was just always worried about other people and what they think. And I'm trying to like stir away from that. And, I, and I'm and i like slowly I am, but I'm hoping that this is, is this? Okay, I can't see, so it looks blurry to me, but Hopefully you all can see me because I don't have my glasses on, but um, do you, that's all I want to say, just do you, do what you need to do to, you know, get your grand, make yourself happy, make yourself positive, have a positive life, a successful life, because this is your story. And if you want your story to be amazing, then write a good damn story.